for the heat races as feature event number one rolls out onto the back stretch, getting ready for the A main. It'll be the Pepsi Cola Pure Stocks. Pepsi Cola is the official soft drink of the Springfield Raceway. It should be your official soft drink as well. All right, Pepsi Cola Pure Stocks. Let's call them out. Dave Waggy leading them out in car number 13 to his outside. It is Richard Sparks. Richard Sparks in number 14. Richard Harrington in car number 15. Christopher Sawyer in the 12S. Brandon Sanders in the 64. Kyle Purvis to his inside in car number 22. Jack Hammer in car number 714. Tyrell Jones is in the 33. Jacob Cater out on the racetrack in car number 20. On his inside, it's the quick family truckster, James Reedus, the L34. Jordan Goddard in the 53. Danny Vasquez in the 7V. In the 2 machine out on the racetrack, that is Robert Yunt. Robert Yunt out on the racetrack. Dusty Sanderson in the 4. 43 machine of Jerry Schweitzer. Jerry Schweitzer, driver of car number 43, the 11T machine of Anthony Coleman. And then it's back to the 01 machine of TJ Witted. That is your field of Pepsi Cola Pure Stocks for their A main event tonight, originally scheduled for tonight. Dave Waggy in car number 13 is gonna be leading them down to the green flag. 16 of these Pepsi-Cola Pure Stocks checked into the pit area tonight. Very slow, nice and easy, looking for the start of this race. They've got it, here they go, green flag coming out. Dave Waggy in car number 13 leads him down into turns number one and two. He's got Richard Harrington all over his back bumper. Richard Sparks to his outside. Look at Kyle Purvis and Christopher Sawyer on both sides of Richard Harrington. Three wide racing. Jockeying for positions in the opening lap. Still a cluster of cars, three wide. Up towards the front of the pack, James Reedus trying to make some big moves. Almost four wide, four wide as they cross the start finish line. Oh no, there's contact. Dave Waggy pushing Christopher Sawyer. Unbelievable, they, oh, they almost stayed going. They almost stayed going except James Reedus got sideways and he's still rolling backwards. And that's gonna bring out the caution flag. I tell you what, whenever you say four wide, it's usually caution flag right after that. And there was just not enough room as everybody goes down into turn number one. And it was Waggy just getting into the side of the 12 car of Christopher Sawyer. Dave Waggy pushed him down the track for just a little bit. And Christopher Sawyer had that car straightened back up and in an effort to try to miss out on the accident, James Reedus got that car sideways but he's got that car going straight once again, going the right direction, and he'll get lined up with the rest of the pack. While we got a quiet moment, joining us up here in the booth tonight is the driver of the number eight car in the reliable Chevrolet B Modifieds, Dylan McCowan. And Dylan, you had a pretty nice run in that first feature. Yeah, the top was really good for us. We, we were kind of slow down on the bottom and they were kind of leaving us. So we just, I decided to go on the top and run just a little bit. Now, how much experience? You look like you're, how old are you? I'm 14 years old. 14 years old. I was going to say, I don't think you can drive out on the highway yet. Uh, how many years of racing have you actually been doing? I was racing go-karts at six and uh, truck mini stock at 12 and then Midwest Mod at 12 and for the last two years. All right, so really, first year in B-Mod, and this is, man, this is a tough class, uh, especially here at Springfield Raceway. And, you know, in that heat race a while ago, I, I saw you out there racing with Jackie Dalton. Jackie Dalton's 
got thousands of laps around the Springfield Raceway, and you're just getting started good, but uh, you're hanging in there, and the car really looks smooth. You're taking care of it, and uh, it's, it's really cool to watch it. H how difficult is it driving that B-Modified? You're making it along better than all right, man. I tell you that uh, I, I think you finished fifth in that first feature, didn't you? Fifth or sixth. Yeah, sixth, just outside the top five uh, in that Hawk Fertilizer number eight car. But where are you from, Dylan? Urbana, Missouri. Okay, you're from Urbana down around Dallas County, so you probably raced at Dallas County. Yeah, in the middle spot I did. And then we got a couple laps in the Midwest How much does the go-kart racing help you getting into the big cars? All right. Well, Dylan, thanks for coming by, buddy. We're going back racing, and good luck in the feature. All right. Dylan McCowan, driver of car number eight, back to pure stock racing. Green flag coming back out. Richard Sparks leads the charge down into one and two off the restart. Tyrell Jones has given him some company down to the inside. So is Christopher Sawyer as he tries to look to the outside. Coming down to the start finish line, Tyrell Jones and Richard Sparks battling side by side for the lead. Kyle Purvis and Christopher Sawyer in there as well. Tyrell Jones has cleared the Sparks machine and has now moved up. Soul, solely up front by himself. Tyrell Jones trying to make it two in a row as he was the winner last Saturday night. Kyle Purvis trying to change that as he's down on the bottom in second. James Reedus on the charge in the 34 machine. Still a long way to go. Jack Hammer in the fifth spot as he runs up on, and it looks like Christopher Sawyer off the pace in car number 12. Kyle Purvis down to the inside of Tyrell Jones. Richard Sparks hanging in there as well in car number 14. He's back in the third position. A little bit of distance back to Jack Hammer, but the battle for the lead still rages on up front. Kyle Purvis and Tyrell Jones going after it. James Reedus passing cars as he comes to him. Right now working the top of the speedway, trying to make his way forward, and if this race should happen to get another caution or two. He'll be right in the mix. James Reedus making his living around the top side of the speedway. He goes around Jacob Cater and Brandon Sanders at the same time. And he's knocking on the door to the top five. His next victim will be Jack Hammer in the 714. The 11 T car off the pace. Almost an accident there and all. And uh, yeah, Jacob Cater did. Make contact with the 0-1, and we got a caution on the speedway. Anthony Coleman comes to a stop. Some mechanical problems with the 11T. Forces it to come to a stop just here at the entrance of turn one, and that's what brings out the caution flag. Everybody did a good job trying to avoid him, but Jacob Cater just ran out of room, and he just couldn't avoid him. Just kind of ran out of room here on the front straightaway and made a little bit of contact, but it looks like he's going to be okay and able to continue. Unfortunately for the 11T of Anthony Coleman, that car looks like the night may be over. So a couple of cars going out. Christopher Sawyer in car number 12, able to make it around to the pit area, but the 11T not able to get off the racetrack. He was doing everything he could. He stayed at the top of the speedway but nowhere to go for that 11 car, and he'll get help back to the pit area. Well, you gotta believe that James Reedus is smiling right now when that caution flag came out. He's in the fifth position, so that means he'll go from row three up on the top side, and the top side is where he's making hay. So James Reedus, and almost a repeat from last Saturday night. James had to start the feature at the back. Tonight, he had to go to the back after that spin. 
And now trying to fight his way back up towards the front. Tyrell Jones in the Reinhardt 33 trying to hold on for the win. Kyle Purvis has got a good race car. Keep your eye on that 22. All right, here we go, doubling up, getting ready for the restart. The one to go signal given to the field, they'll go green next time by. Gonna be a dandy, got the fast cars up at the front now. James Reed has charged hard on that last green flag run and I really don't think he needed a caution. He had enough momentum to get back to the front. That car was fast. All right, giving it a go. This time by Keith Pratt looks him over. He says, we're going back green. Green flag back up in the air. Tyrell Jones picking up where he left off, and so is Kyle Purvis. Battling for the lead. Purvis is down on the inside. Tyrell Jones works the outside. Jacob Cater with problems in the 20 car. Looks like he's headed off the speedway. Battle for the lead off four. Kyle Purvis still trying to work the bottom side of the speedway, looking for a way around Tyrell Jones. Tyrell Jones making the top side work as he continues to lead this race over the 22. Down to the front stretch, start finish line. The 22 of Tyrell Jones still out in front. Tyrell Jones in the 33 leads the charge down the back straightaway. Kyle Purvis sticking with the bottom side of the speedway. Meanwhile, James Reedus has hit sort of a roadblock trying to get around the number 14 of Richard Sparks. Good battle between Brandon Sanders and Jack Hammer as they battle for the number five position. Lap traffic could come into play as you got the 0-1 car just ahead. He is a single car by himself. He's running the bottom, Tyrell Jones is running the top, so should not be a problem. White flag coming out this time by, one more lap to go. The 0-1 takes the bottom side of the speedway. Everybody is going to check up. Tyrell Jones is gonna go around him to the outside, so is Kyle Purvis. Coming out of turn number four down towards the checker flag. Tyrell Jones takes the checker flag. Kyle Purvis finishes up in second, James Reed is third, Richard Sparks fourth. So the Pepsi-Cola Pure Stocks are in the book. Now I'm going to give away a junior fan of the week, so we're looking for a child's red ticket. Child's red ticket. I'm gonna call out your number. If this is your number, come up to the booth. Last three numbers, child's red ticket, seven, eight, one.